Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot. And if you are new, welcome. I will be tapping into Cancer's energy for October, the rest of October 2023 and until the next reading. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so please uh, take what resonates and leave the rest for others. These are all pre-shuffled before each reading and then shuffled again on camera. Also, uh, if you do hear any sounds in the background, there is some um, movement outside, a box fan, and a dog. All right, to the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Cancer, thank you for guiding and protecting them thus far, and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please use me as the channel to bring the messages that are trying to find them. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Spirit, what is Cancer's current strength at this time for the rest of October 2023 until their next reading? Two cards upright, nothing off the ground, Spirit. What is Cancer's current strength at this time? Cancer's current challenge at this time for the rest of October 2023 until their next reading. Two cards up, right? Nothing off the ground. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's see in what part of your life this is going to resonate the loudest for you. Cancer's life is fear and peace going to resonate the loudest for them? Thank you. And what part of Cancer's life is caution and hunger going to be their challenge? Thank you. Your messages are coming out pretty quick. We're going to dig a little bit deeper here, Cancer. I do encourage you to check the signs in, uh, that are in your rising moon and Venus placements as well as your sun, uh, your sun because those may resonate for you. Spirit, three cards upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. Can you give me more information in regards to Cancer's current strength at this time? Cards up or reverse, or can you give me more information in regards to Cancer's current challenge at this time for the rest of October till our next reading? Thank you, Spirit. All right, and before we head into a 
advice, we're gonna go through this first. Let's go ahead and pull the cherry on top, which is gonna be that period at the end of the sentence, kind of, kind of, kind of um, spirit gives us like a little bit more of a rounded story here to go by. What is the cherry on top for Cancer's current strength at this time, spirit? One card up, right? Nothing off the ground. on top for Cancer's current strength. on top here for Cancer's current challenge. Cancer, for your current strength at this time, for the rest of October 2023, until your next reading, we've got fear and peace. And in the part of your life that's going to resonate the loudest for you is the chariot. So in whatever part of your life you feel like there's movement, you could physically actually be moving. It could also be uh, the energy of a target that you have. Um, a path that you have in mind, a destination that you are going towards, a plan, strategy. So in whatever part of your life you feel like there is quick movement. This isn't like eight of wands kind of energy, but it is like a uh, quick route um, that we choose. Uh, it's also up to us, of course, in regards to the planning of that route and where we're going, where we want to go. And um, to get a little bit more information, we've got the Three of Cups in reverse, the Strength, and the High Priestess. And then the Cherry on top being the Queen of Voices, also known as the Queen of Swords. You're definitely pulling up some strength here. So there may be some heaviness that you're going through right now in regards to coming together with others or another person. You may not feel very connected to your intuition or your gut. Things may be a little bit foggy right now. The strength card usually doesn't come out unless it's called for. So you may be trying to uh, tame your initial responses, the initial habits you have and how you respond to something here. With the Queen of Voices, there is this intensity, desire for trying to get some truth here about something that you don't have all the information on. You may have just enough information. For fear and peace to be your overall energy on your strength side here, and for this to all be on your strength side, 
you may be quick to judge here about the truth of a situation in, in either a group dynamic or how you come together with people or how you show up in relationships. And that could be any type of relationship. It's almost like you might be going off of feelings, making movements quickly based off of fear here, your desire for peace. You may feel like you get peace from running away from fear. You're cre you might be creating some sort of truth here that's not aligned with your higher self, that's not methodical in, in, in regards to your higher self. It's not aligned with how you show up as your best self. Let's pull some advice and see if there's anything that spirit can give us to kind of give us a little, little bit more information here. And you may be kind of moving quickly away from the reality of something to create this peace, to be able to control your emotions or how you use, how you might respond in an animalistic way or respond in a intense, unproductive way. Uh, creating some sort of truth for yourself may give you a sense of peace. what advice do you have for cancer for their strength for the rest of October until their next reading two cards upright nothing off the ground thank you sir we've got the ten of cups and the ten of swords The first thing I get is that, that there is there is some sort of fulfillment that's within this pain. There's possibly some knowledge or a lesson here that you're missing. Therefore, you won't be able to maintain this peace for long because the first thing that comes out with this is that these horses can only run for so long before they need to like rest and eat. So it's very important in regards to the destination you're aiming to go to. Spirit, one more card for advice. Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's something here. That's called for for you to be able to get back in touch with your intuition and in a space where you have some sort of wisdom here because it seems like you're trying to escape it seems like your strength right now is escaping from some sort of wisdom that's trying to be shown to you about some sort of relationship some truth about how you showed up or how you show up, how this, this this may be a pattern. Because for the Queen of Wands here, it's a very, it's an energy that is very aware of your strengths and your weaknesses. In, in most decks, in many decks, Queen of Wands has a cat here. It's usually a black cat that represents 
understanding your weaknesses because those are going to be things that are kind of always a part of us throughout our entire lives and it's how we it's the wisdom right that enlightenment that we get from understanding how they work you know like what activates them what controls them what grounds them what do we do that can catch uh that that we can use to catch ourselves before we respond in certain ways that have not assisted us before and with the ten of cups and ten of swords here it's like we we have to experience not have to but there is a a value in fear and things that are not so pleasant that we experience because that's how we find out how to show up better in relationships. That's how we find out what relationships to even feed into. That's how we that's how we build our intuition. That is how our gut gets stronger, how we're quicker to pick up actual truth versus what we're telling ourselves. So just keep in mind that this this piece is is within this fear and for this to be on your strength side you may be already looking at that you may be pulling that strength here recognizing the things that are imbalanced realizing that truth realizing how you may be escaping fear and how Running away from certain facts is not going to create that like long-term peace here. So this this is going to hit you guys all differently. This is this is a uh, pretty much just pointing out some sort of realization. Because this isn't something you don't know about yourself, about what you're experiencing. So you could be actually already on this path and already following this advice. If you aren't, Spirit's asking you to take a look at this pain because that's how we, we reach and understand what happiness even is. That's how we gain wisdom. That's how we become even better within ourselves. So let's jump over to your challenge side here. Cancer, you've got caution and hunger. And the part of your life this is gonna resonate the loudest is the 10 of wands. More information from spirit is the temperance in reverse, the devil and the nine of pentacles. And the cherry on top here is the Four of Voices, also known as the Four of Swords. So your challenge here, Cancer, seems to possibly be in, in whatever part of your life you feel there's a burden, in whatever part of your life you feel like you're carrying a lot, possibly a lot of things that are not yours, when you reach this, not necessarily burnout, but when you do reach this state or space of heaviness, you may, there's some sort of, um, I'm not getting exactly the word impatience, but there's a very strong desire to 
do what you have to do to quickly feel better here, which gives you some sense of, of rest away from this. Again, there's like this disassociation possibly, wanting to step away or get away from this heaviness quickly. For caution and hunger to be your overall energy on your challenge side with the Ten of Wands, it's like as soon as you feel the urgency or as soon as you do feel cautious or worried, you immediately have this hunger to feel better, which is, I mean, that's human. The challenge may be actually finding a space where you actually feel per, like rest at the end of the day, right? You, you, for example, you may go to sleep or sorry, you may, for example, you may go to sleep feeling better, but it seems to be temporary here, right? The next morning you're like, well, that, that didn't go away. So there's this addiction to possibly indulging here in again stepping away and not wanting to be in this space it's not a space we want to be in it's not a, it's not a pleasant place to be but there's so much value and wisdom in that right when we reach dopamine the universe sees that and the un there's a balance the universe wants balance so that's when the universe gives us something heavy. Because if we give ourselves dopamine in not like in, in, in a temporary way, the universe is going to hear they received their dopamine. Now let's give them something heavy. So if you're going to create dopamine, it needs to be productive, something that's more long-term. Therefore, things get more aligned and there's not that pendulum that the universe is working with here. I hope that made sense. I'm gonna pull some advice for your challenge side here, Cancer, and see if there's anything else that spirit has for you. Also, I just want, I feel the need to say that with patience is not something you want to pray for. Patience is not something that you want to ask spirit to show you because the only, the main way that we learn about patience is heavy times. So when you, if you ask or pray for patience, you are asking for something heavy and hard. Alright, Spirit, what advice do you have for Cancer here? For their challenge for the rest of October 2023 until their next reading? The Hermit and the Star. So there immediately, there is this spirits telling you that there is a sense of new hope or a refresh, a refreshment, refreshing, a reset. of hope that's within you here if you let yourself sit in this space that's not this temporary distraction that's not this disassociation that's not this fake rest spirits asking you to take a look around stop and take a look around right slow down possibly let's pull one more since we had three on the 
shrink side. One more card spirit for advice for cancer for their two more. Knight of Wands and the Hanged Man. Yeah, there is some, there is some delivery here for truth. You see this light beam here? It's coming from the feet of the Knight of Swords, right? Coming from above here, the star. You've got this hope that's at your, your, it's literally in your hand, it's at your feet. There's this new vision of your future or a new, a new uh, perspective here, but it, it lies within what you're not looking at possibly, where you haven't turned your focus and possibly the things that you have focused away from that's where you're going to find this new hope this new sense of hope that's where you're going to find that's where you're going to find patience when you can see possibly the lesson that was in within this heaviness the truth that was, is within this heaviness the truth that's within the fear. Why do you ask yourself? Why do you fear, possibly peace? Why do you fear? Why do you fear something here? Why do you fear where you're going? Because you're the driver. You know why are you scared about where you are choosing to go? If if you are, change your destination. Change where you're going. And that can be heavy because you may have spent a lot of energy or effort in really convincing yourself that the destination here is where you needed to be. But there's some sort of spirits asking you to evaluate here your perspective on, on some sort of delivery of truth about what you even want in your life. Right? You want to get tapped back into your intuition here, and the only way to do that is to sit within your own energy, to, to look at yourself. All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you right now. If you have any questions or would like for me to elaborate on any of the imagery or combinations, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear how this resonates for you. And until next time, loves, Cancer, you've got this.